Hello. It's Monday. Where you doing? Where you at? What's going on? I um, I'm preparing to teach yoga here. I'm in Westport. If you don't know where Westport is at, it's on the northwest corner of the United States. The sun is shining, so what a gift. And the wind isn't howling 25 miles an hour, so what a gift. <laughs> um, there are waves, what a gift. So I'm preparing to teach the yoga class this morning and I like to bring, other than just the physical movement, there's so much more to yoga that helps us with our life. And this morning, I was gonna offer the quick story of how I started journaling because it actually came up in conversation three or four times this week randomly with even the person that cuts my hair. So I'm like, okay, this is something that I can share that's valuable for you if the idea of journaling sounds weird or you're like, how in the heck do I get started writing? Like, what do I write about? So I pulled this out. This is a very ancient artifact. This is the first journal that was given to me by my colon therapist, Bonnie, in San Diego. She gave this to me as a gift and she said, you need to write about your life. Your life is interesting. So I was like, okay, cool. And this empty journal sat with me for a really long time. It's pretty, right? But I didn't understand how to start writing. I wasn't a writer at all. And uh, when I used to study, I would write things. And so I could learn, I would write out. Um, when I was in the Navy, I had to learn a lot of information. So the way for me to learn the information was just to write it down. I That's how I learn. I. I know that you probably learn in a very specific way. But what I would do is I would read books or I would see a quote. If you ever saw a quote and you're like, ooh, that's cool, I really, I really like that, it, it resonates with me. Or you're reading something in a book or a magazine or you're reading a meme online or something like that. I don't even know if people read books anymore, but I still, I'm so old school, I read books. But for example, if I was reading this book and thumbing through it and reading it, um, of course, you know, there's the good old highlighter. I'm like, ooh, that's really great information, so I wanna highlight that. But the way I started journaling was that I would read and, and, and grow and learn, and then I would take my journal and, and what I would highlight normally, I would start to write things down. I would write quotes down, I would write cool sayings that I saw on the internet, and thoughts that would come in your head. And another thing I didn't realize, I started journaling back a long time ago when I would be out on like six month, seven month deployments in the Navy. You have a lot of time on your hands. <laughs> you have a lot of time to think about things when you're sitting a six hour watch and you're watching the radar and you're in the middle of the Atlantic or Pacific Ocean and there's no ships or contacts. So what I started doing was writing down my dreams. When you're on the ocean for months at a time, you have a lot of time to envision a life that you dream of. Oh. And along with being on land, the idea I would get would be like, I would write about my dream house, like I want a house, or the other dreams I would write about when I was out on watch on the, on the ocean, I would write about what kind of lifestyle do I want? Where do I want to travel to? What kind of experiences do I want to have? And so I called it Terish's Little Book of Dreams, but it was like a composition notebook that I took on watch with me because we're not supposed to be reading stuff on watch, as you know, you're supposed to be paying attention. But when you're in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean or the Pacific Ocean and there's no contacts anywhere, you could doodle. <laughs> I doodled and I doodled my dreams. I doodled what I wanted to do in my life because when you're out on deployment, the only thing you have to do is dream or you sit around and talk about crap that's not important. So I chose to dream. And you can take just a regular notebook. It can be a composition notebook. It can be a lineless notebook. Look at that. There is no rules when it comes to writing. This was copied out of a book called Think and Grow Rich. I'm sure you may have heard of it. I literally would write passages out of books and things that I wanted to learn, I would just write them. So that's how I started to journal. It doesn't have to be, dear diary, today Timmy didn't talk to me. It, hasn't, it, you know, it, ha it doesn't have to be like that. It can be, 
I dream of traveling to Italy and having a glass of wine and looking out over the Mediterranean Sea and eating a big plate of pasta. Like you could start writing about your dreams and your desires. That's one thing that the system has not told us. The system has taught us how to be servants of the system. The system has taught us that you go to work, you make money, you pay your bills, and you buy all these things, and you're supposed to be happy. But what the system hasn't taught us to do is to dream big. The system hasn't taught us to set bigger visions and goals than we can imagine. So we really have the capacity to do and dream and build anything you want in life. You can go anywhere you want, you can have anything you want, but no one's ever given you the permission to dream. So journaling for me is taking it back to when you were a little kid and your parents or someone said, what do you wanna be when you grow up? Well, I don't care if you're 65 right now and you're watching this, I want you to ask yourself, what do I want to do when I grow up? Where do I want to go? What kind of life do I want to have? And it can start by writing it down. You can write sentences, you can write um, pictures, you can draw, you know, you can draw pictures. Uh, you can do anything you freaking want to do, but it starts with pen to paper and We've been told that, you know, watch a Netflix or watch this sitcom or watch the news in the evening. Well, I'm offering you that maybe give yourself the time that you're giving these other things and offer yourself dreams and desires and visions and uh, watch those things manifest. So yeah, I just wanted to share how I started journaling book of the day I'm going to share with my students, Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself by Dr. Joe Dispenza. It's a book I'm going to share. And one thing that I love that he talks about is there's a gap. When we're suffering in life, there's a gap that we create. And there's the person that we really are, the person that we are on the inside. And then there's this person that we portray to the world. And when that gap between the two is really large, we suffer. Our health suffers, our well-being suffers, we're never really at peace. So if we can get that gap to close and start to portray who we truly are every day and stop playing a role, then our suffering and our body and our heart and our mind can soon dissolve. So yes, if you have any questions, I have a 30-day journal challenge I can share with you for free. Uh, it's a PDF, you can, you can do one journal entry a day. It's a very simple journal entry. If you would like a guided tool to journaling, if you want yoga and journaling, I have a 30-day program on my website. I'll list that below. And if you need any book recommendations on where you are in your journey, please shoot me a message because I love uh, helping people discover things through whatever book comes to me through my intuition. So if you need a book recommendation of where you could get started with your journey of learning more about yourself, shoot me a message, I'd be happy to help. Otherwise, have a wonderful day, and I hope that you get some sunshine today. I hope that you can do one thing today that makes you truly feel like a kid. So for me, it's going to the ocean. Um, I hope that you can play, I hope that you can sing, and I hope that you can dance. Because at the end of the day, singing, dancing, and playing is the best medicine in the entire world. We don't need a vaccination, folks. We need a prescription to have fun. <laughs> have a great day.